If you're not using Midjourney's profile parameter, you're really missing out on the power of your preferences. Today, we'll learn how to use Midjourney's profile or personalized tool, and your images will never be the same. The Midjourney profile parameter, formerly called the personalized parameter, lets you customize the AI's style to match your own visual tastes. You tell Midjourney what you like, and it builds you a unique style. Midjourney integrates your visual style into the images it generates. The results are more personal, more unique. To use Midjourney's profile tool, you first need to teach the AI what you like. Go to the website and choose the Personalize page. There are two ways to teach Midjourney your preferences. Let's start with choosing pairs of images. Select the Create Standard Profile. If you've ranked images before, this page will look familiar. You'll see two images. Simply click on one that you like the best. Midjourney learns from your choice that you like this image better than the other one. You need to rank at least 40 images to create a profile, but your style stabilizes at about 200 ratings. This is when Midjourney really gets the flavor of your style. There's a bar that shows your progress. When choosing images, just go with your gut. You're training Midjourney on what you love. If you don't like either image, click the Skip option. Click Undo if you want to change your answer. It will take you back to the last pair. Ranking images is fast. It takes about five minutes to rate a couple of hundred images. When you've ranked 40 images, Midjourney will stop and make a profile. Notice the profile parameter, dash dash P, is followed by a profile code. This is a long string of letters and numbers. Try out your profile or continue teaching Midjourney about your preferences. 40 images is the minimum, but your profile will be more stable if you rank 200 or more pairs. Click on Continue Teaching and keep ranking. Let's try out the profile we created. The parameter is in the prompt bar, ready for you to add some details. You can also add other parameters. Compare the images created with the profile and without. Notice that the profile parameter is listed with a default name, in this case, Profile2. Click on the profile parameter to add it to the prompt bar. The profile becomes a series of letters and numbers. In this case, my profile2 equates to the profile code 05C6XLY. Your personal style will continue to evolve every time you like images or do more ratings. If I rate more pairs of images, the code will update to something new. Midjourney is learning more about your preferences. From the personalized workspace, you can copy the parameter and code into the prompt bar. See the images that you've created using this profile. Delete the profile or add a memorable name to your profile. Notice that you can make another profile and make different choices this time. Sometimes I'm feeling surreal and other times I'm feeling real. The second way to teach Midjourney your preferences is by creating a mood board. Show Midjourney your favorite images. A mood board is a visual collage that combines images, colors, textures to get the feel of a project. It's a quick way to gather inspiration and communicate visual ideas. 
return to the Personalize tab and select the Mood Board option. You have three options. You can upload images, add image links, or add images from your gallery. Let's start by creating a mood board from your gallery images. Click Add from Gallery. All the images you've created come up. You can filter these. Maybe you only want to see images that you've liked or upscaled. Or maybe ones in a particular version or aspect ratio. You're looking for a set of images that have something in common. Maybe it's a subject, a theme, a color palette, a style. Click on the images you like and add them to your mood board. If you change your mind, click the image again to remove it from your mood board. Mood boards create profiles with fewer than 40 images, but try for at least 40. Click the back button and you'll see a mood board. Click on the mood board and you'll see the images that you've added. If an image doesn't fit, simply delete it from the mood board. And you can add more images from the gallery or even upload images from your computer. Once you're happy with this set of images, click Copy Code and add it to the prompt bar. And you might want to rename the mood board so you remember the theme. You can also create mood boards using non-AI images and AI images created in other AI image generators. I'm creating a mood board for my own photography, and I'm uploading my favorite pics. Now I can use this mood board as a profile and add a new subject. Midjourney picks up on the style of my photography and applies it to my new images. In this update, you can train more than one profile, and you can create as many mood boards as you want. Profiles will only work in Midjourney version 6 and 6.1, but you can select images for your mood board from previous versions. Most of the images I'm adding now are from version 5. Once you teach Midjourney your visual preferences, turn on the profile parameter. You can toggle on profiles in the personalized workspace or go to your settings and turn on personalize. In this updated version, you're going to get a drop-down list of profiles. This is where giving profiles and mood boards memorable names can help you distinguish which profile that you want. And notice that you can select more than one to use. This is perfect for blending profiles. If you create a profile before the update, it's still here. It's now called Global Profile. Your Global Profile will keep evolving as you like images on the Explore page. Your personal profile code is a random series of letters and numbers, and it looks something like this. You can prompt for profiles using the dash dash P or dash dash profile parameter. Add a space and then copy in this code. If you don't add a code, Midjourney will use your default profile. Each profile you create has a dedicated code. Find this code by either going to the Personalized Workspace and choose Copy Code. The code you see in the prompt bar will shorten when you run the prompt. Or find an image where you've used the profile and click the Use button to move the prompt and the parameters to the prompt bar. You'll see the code next to the dash dash p parameter. And yes, you can use more than one personalization code in a prompt. Type dash dash p, space, enter one code, space, enter a second code. 
Is there any limit to how many profiles you can add to an image? Well, maybe. You can add only one mood board. But I've tested it and you can add at least 10 profiles. But you're not limited to profiles that you create. You can use profiles created by other Midjourney users. For instance, you can use one of mine. Enter a prompt. Type dash dash p after your prompt, space, and enter this code. You can find other users' codes on the Explore page. The unique codes they use to create their images will show up in the parameters. I've collected hundreds and hundreds of profiles that you can use in your own prompting in an ebook. Profiles interact with the stylized parameter. If you've not used stylized before, it's a measure of Midjourney's aesthetic. The dash dash stylize, or dash dash s for short, lets you fine tune the artistic flair of your Midjourney creations. The profile parameter is designed to work with stylize. Zero reduces the profile effects, and a thousand should really pump them up. For each of these images, I use the same prompt in Seed, but I changed the stylize parameter. Stylize 0 is similar to turning off personalization. But notice that Style Raw will also affect the look. If you're a Niji Journey user, there is a separate profile training. Go to the Niji Journey website, click the Personalize tab, and start teaching Niji about your preferences. Just like Midjourney, you'll get two images to choose from. Rank 200 images to create your personalized profile. Then type a prompt, add the dash dash p parameter, and copy in your profile code. The profile parameter for Niji Journey has not yet been updated, so it's functioning like the Midjourney personalized code before it was updated. Once you train your Niji profile, you can add it to your prompts using the dash dash p parameter or turn on personalize under the settings menu. Right now, the Niji and the Midjourney profile codes are separate. If you create a profile in Niji, you can only use it with dash dash Niji version 6. If you create a profile in Midjourney, you can only use it with the Midjourney versions. Adding a personal style to your Midjourney images is quick and easy with the dash dash profile parameter. Everyone's tastes are complex. What you like for one type of image may not be what you like for another. Create multiple profiles and even blend them together. Share your favorite Midjourney or Niji Journey profiles in the comments below. If this video gave you a new way to create AI images, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.